This is the United States. This is the state of Ohio, located in the Great Lakes region of the United States. Ohio, like much of the United States, has suffered economically due to job losses. This is Sandusky, Ohio. Sandusky is in the middle of the Great Lakes region and close to Cleveland, Toledo, and Detroit. All cities that have seen economic decline due to a loss of manufacturing facilities. There is a solution. Sandusky, Ohio is just one example of a location that would be ideal for a robust economic development plan to bring new jobs to an area. Others include locations in Wisconsin, South Carolina, Minnesota, Colorado, to name a few. This is a cancer hospital. Doctors often need specific medical isotopes to accurately diagnose and treat patients. The United States currently has no domestic source for these important isotopes and must rely on foreign nations for an increasingly limited and unstable supply. No domestic supply of isotopes means higher costs and limited healthcare options, leading to inferior care. I want to help my patients with new treatments and testing, but I am limited because I desperately need these isotopes to help my patients. There is a solution. The average cost of electricity in the United States is estimated at 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Energy costs are going up due to a growing population, increased demand, and increased production costs due to overregulation and taxation. There is a solution. This is a liquid core molten salt reactor. Molten salt reactors were invented at Oak Ridge National Laboratories in Tennessee. Scientists carefully tested the reactors and proved the effectiveness of the technology. The scientists found molten salt reactors can safely provide clean and renewable energy, and they can use a variety of energy sources, making them adaptable and affordable. Carbon-free, reliable, renewable energy. Electricity costs at 2 cents per kilowatt hour. Produces rare medical isotopes. Can use nuclear waste thorium, uranium as fuel, non-weapons grade nuclear, no proliferation fears, complements other energy sources. Production creates new jobs, thousands of jobs. However, the United States government discontinued funding the molten salt reactor development program in the 1970s due to political and economic reasons. The technology became classified information. The United States government has not outlined steps needed to allow the development and commercialization of this already proven technology in America. The technology was declassified in 1994, and now other countries are working to develop this technology, yet our country is not. Why isn't America allowing the development of this technology for the benefit of our own citizens and our own domestic economy? Can we develop and commercialize the molten salt reactor here in America? The answer is yes. Remember Sandusky and the other places we mentioned? While there are several places in the U.S. that could be chosen for this, Sandusky, Ohio is one example of an ideal place to build a molten salt reactor testing and commercialization facility, allowing jobs to be created as the technology is developed and assembled. Building small desktop size research reactors would allow for the domestic production of medical isotopes, which would lower healthcare costs and potentially help millions of people across the country and the world. This would also create an industry to provide thousands of new jobs. An economic development plan to build research reactors, as proposed by the E-Generation Economic Development Corporation and E-Generation Foundation, could generate tens of thousands of new jobs to a region, would create a domestic source of medical isotopes, would provide funding for a much-needed infrastructure, and would help provide energy for the surrounding area. The reactors would also be the catalyst for reproving the reliability and effectiveness of the technology, paving the way for a regulatory environment that would allow for new developments and a path to energy and economic security for America. This would help America. This would help the world. To support the efforts of our foundation, please visit egeneration.org.